Okay, let's get to work. Get this video from Los Angeles out. Nope. 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 I'm kind of at this point right now where I feel like there aren't enough hours in the day. And that really bothers me because that's kind of a misnomer. There are enough hours in the day. It just depends on how you want to spend that time. I'm putting out This Doesn't Suck videos, vlog videos, Heroes of Awesome videos. I've got to keep up with blog posts and all the social media posts. I've got business things to handle on the back end of all of this. There's a lot of stuff going on, and there's just not enough time to get it all done. Unless that's all I did. You may immediately be thinking, well, then that should be all you do. Okay, cool, but here's the problem. That's where I was a few years ago. I spent 60 to 80 hours a week sitting here all the time, writing, editing, posting, social media, emails, everything. I very rarely left the house, and yeah, I was actually making some pretty good progress. You could argue I was making really good progress towards some of my goals. Then I started to realize, with the help of my lovely and talented wife Elizabeth, that maybe, just maybe, I was giving up a little too much in the process. I can't tell you how many family dinners I skipped out on, or how many happy hours with friends, or even just going to a movie I just didn't go to because I felt like I had to stay here and I had to keep working. And I did. I worked all the time. But I was forgetting about the now, the here that I'm in right now, and what about the things that make me happy now? Look, it's great if I'm super successful when I'm 90, but I don't want to be 90 on my deathbed looking back at 60 years of me being alone and sad trying to get to that point. What about those 60 years? It's not worth it for me to waste all of that. So I did start to split my time a little bit differently. I would go out to happy hours with friends. I wouldn't miss any family events. I'd go see the movies. I would go to games night. I would do a lot more than I ever used to do because those friends and family relationships are just as important, if not more important, than the goals that I'm trying to accomplish. Because what's the point being hugely successful if you don't have anyone to share it with? I'm not saying that's right for everybody. We all have our own dreams and goals and the ways that we want to pursue them. I am just saying that it was better for me to really start to enjoy the life I have now because that's gonna make my success in the future that much greater. I sincerely believe that there's probably nothing better in the world than to achieve something, to, to achieve a goal, to realize a dream, and be able to share that with the people you care about and the people that care about you. I can't even imagine what it would be like to achieve the pinnacle of your achievement and to come back to an empty home. What's my point? I don't know. I, I could have gotten the video out today. Maybe if I had stayed up all night last night and worked through the morning, I could have gotten this video out. The problem is that over the past couple of weeks between me traveling and Elizabeth traveling, we've seen each other about two hours total. That's it. And she's coming back this afternoon. What kind of person would I be if she came back and I was exhausted and grumpy and didn't want to talk or hang out? That's not cool. That's not a great quality of life right now. And that's not fair to her. And she matters. The people in my life matter just as much as my goals in my life. And finding that balance has been one of the greatest things I've ever done. Don't get me wrong, it's hard. Not too long ago, if I didn't make a video out on time, my brain would be just like <laughs> I might say it's like, it's okay, that's just what I can accomplish. But inside, it's like <laughs> It still stresses me out a little bit. You know, this one's gonna come a little late, but I do understand the trade-off that comes with getting a video out and also taking care of your life and making sure that you're happy in the moment. I don't know what my point is. I'm still not sure that I, I've got one for this video. This seems a little rambly and I apologize for that, but I wanted to get something out. I really wanted to have that LA video done today with these sweeping cinematic shots and cool pictures and music, and it just didn't happen. But just because that didn't happen today doesn't mean I can't keep working towards my goals. It doesn't mean I can't keep pushing forward. Just because I miss a mark doesn't mean the target's still not in front of me. 